Hello everyone, so this video I'll talk about retopology and how we disseminate a high resolution geometry into a low resolution geometry. Alright, so let's get started. So firstly, what is retopology? So um, retopology is the act of recreating new clean topology based on the features of a reference surface. So to put it simply, we will generate a low poly with a very reasonable poly count from a high poly mesh. Okay, so a common case will be creating a clean quad based mesh for animation. So and then if you have a good UV on this uh, low poly mesh, we can then project the high high poly map to the low poly mesh. And then the low poly mesh will contain all the details on the low poly mesh and then we can animate the low poly mesh and it will look like high poly. Okay, so that's the fun part. Okay, so show you some examples. This is by uh, Nicolet, uh, the Barbarian. I'm sure you've seen this artwork before. Uh, Retopolized low res model looks like this. So all the various uh, low poly mesh. This is the high poly. Okay, so you can tell it's quite different. Low poly and the high poly. And uh, the high poly mesh will have millions of poly counts doesn't matter just want to get as much details as possible and then for the low poly you want to have some reasonable quads to try to contain all the polys and then generate the illusion to uh, have all the details uh, being reflected on your model later okay so more of the high poly details okay so this is the low poly low poly low poly so it's not exactly super low it's like medium size uh, and uh, of course uh, how much quads you have would will also uh, translate into the final so this is still kind of like a high quality quality like a triple a animation sort of thing that's why uh, the the lower rest is not like super super low Okay, so he can work on this in Maya, and then he can he will be able to animate, uh, these uh, characters and the movement of it. Okay, I believe I've shown uh, this video before. If not, uh, you can check out the link in the description for the video. Okay, this is another uh, example of the high res uh, ZBrush model, and then the middle one is the low res version with the wireframe for you to look at. Okay, so they translate the high res into low res, and uh, by right you should not see too much of a difference. And then uh, you can tell that it's uh, very well done because uh, the low res quads is uh, very reasonable and then it's able to contain so much of the high res details here. Okay, so we'll load up um the column version zero zero nine, and then um uh, we are also gonna gonna just uh, use the body for this. So. What is a uh, dissimulation master? Okay, because uh, we after we load up the column, we will realize that this column is like two million poly count. So we want to use a dissimulation master to keep this the poly count lower, so that we can make a make it more efficient when we uh, bring it into Maya itself. Okay, so. It's a way to easily reduce the poly count and optimize the model so we can still uh, bring this to Maya or for 3D prints or anything related to that. Okay, so this normally you do it when you are you have uh, finished your uh, your character modeling. So for example, you previously you may have finished your character, uh, full character high res model that you have created or you could have created the up upper body of the high high res model that you created okay so when you are already near the the end where you have the fully high res model you want to start a full manual topology and then you don't want to bring in just two million poly counts into zbrush that would be too heavy you know if i mean uh, you don't want to bring in, in two million poly count into maya sorry not zbrush two million poly count into maya you will crash straight away <laughs> So Maya is not optimized in such a way that you can you'll be able to um use so much poly count. ZBrush you are able to, but you cannot get away with that in Maya. So what do we do? We need a a step like this to uh, lower the poly count. Okay, so we're going to this uh, PDF will teach you the full manual way of uh 
of uh, doing a manual retopology. And then when you have uh, learned this method, um, whatever technology advance or uh, uh, next time you have better methods of um, of creating low poly mesh, you'll be able to use your understanding of um, the manual retopology to apply to uh, all your models as well. Oh, so so you learn the most um, the more difficult way first, then you'll be able to to apply it to your future skills. It's not exactly difficult. It's just uh, more manual. That's all. Okay. The okay. So to get back to this, so let's open up the model and then use a use a dissemination master. Okay, so in my ZBrush, I'll open up my scenes, don't save changes, and then I'm going to jump into um, this uh, folder that I've given to you. So you should have all these uh, files over here. And then I want to, you to go to this folder, MP Studio Setup, Column Topology for Student. Okay, so go into the scenes, and then there's a Maya file, there's a ZBrush project file, okay? So we're going to use this as a uh, where we will load into. We we'll open up and copy and paste here. And then I'm going to open up this column over here. So the column, as I mentioned before, is uh, 2 million poly count. Uh, it's still very high. And then I want you to be able to uh, press a Shift F to look at the wireframe and then just analyze how high it is. And then we will do a dissemination master. Okay, so how you do a dissemination master? You open up Z plugin. And then uh, there's this uh, dissemination master over here. Open it up. And then uh, you can press pre process current or all. In this case, uh doesn't matter because I only have one sub tool. So I can choose either one, it'll be the same. So we need to pre process first because it's one of the steps for ZBrush to uh, just analyze the mesh and then know uh, how it's going to reduce and how it's going to keep the the rest of the details as much as it can. And then depending on how much of the percentage of the body count that you want to keep later on, you will be able to process it. Okay, so just take note this uh, processing will take some time and uh, it will not be uh, super fast, but you need to do another step later because this is not done yet. Oh, if you realize it's still uh, computing and then even after this finished computing, our points will not change. You know, because we need another step to actually make this work. So this is just pre-processing. Okay. Later on, we need to do the uh, actual <clears throat> disseminate all. You know, we'll, we'll take this, press this button, and then we'll press disseminate all after you finish computing. And then uh, is, you'll, we'll be able to optimize the model according to the percentage shown over here. So the percentage, if I keep it to 20%, 20% of 2 million poly count is about 450k to uh, 500,000 poly count. This is the default setting. So if I use the default settings, I'll end up with um, reducing the poly count to just a one fifth of the original poly count. So that would be pretty cool. Okay, so the pre-processing is actually done already. Now I'll just press disseminate all. Okay, and then the, as I mentioned before, default is uh, 20k so it's going to show you i'll end up with uh, about 460k that's the default and uh, if your computer is a bit slower we can also take this down a bit lower so you you have a lower poly count so mainly we want to remember we are bringing 370 we are bringing this poly count into maya oh, so if your computer is those really slow type you can just use a uh, 250k poly type okay but i'm going to stick to like say 20 percent this is a default settings to want to make it too complicated so if you're if it takes too long just feel free to push it down to 10 percent all right so we'll do 20 percent and then look it's already done it's very fast so once the piece processing is done just now actually the computing is really fast here so did you see that let me undo back and forth for you to see this is 2 million 2.2 2 .2 million this is 450 2 million for video. obviously we lost some of the uh, details it's not going to be as super high res as before but on the grand scheme of things when we look from far away dude there's no difference man so we are instead of wasting so much poly count we can just disseminate it you know? and then it's going to be so much more efficient so one thing to take note is it's not 
perfect either. So there's areas like this where it purposely uh, created a lot of triangles, bigger triangles, it purposely uh, try to optimize areas. And this is obviously the uh, trade-off that we are going to do. So the computer is going to look at an area and say, hey, there's not much details here. Let's put a big piece of triangle. Let's try to fill up. It's pretty flat. There's no details. And then we are not going to keep polycounts there. So this is what the dissemination master does. Okay. So this is cool. Uh, we successfully pushed down the poly count from 2.2 million to 450k. And then we will now export this as an OVJ. So I'll just call this um, column version 9 OVJ. And then I'll add disseminate. Sorry, my spelling is pretty bad. Let me this disseminate. Okay, I got it correct. And uh, I'm just going to add a body count, 450k. So I know that uh, now this OBJ has 450 body count. And then uh, next, I'll, next steps, I'll show you on the next video, all right? So now we have successfully got this out as an OBJ. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.